All right, we're on Zabim Perik Hey Mishnah Aleph. First Mishnah, the fifth chapter of Masech Zabim. The last, this is the last chapter of Masech Zabim. So we're going to talk about how tummy do you actually get if you touch a Zab or you're moved by a Zab or whatever. How tummy do you get if you touch something that was touched by a Zab? So it says the Mishnah, Hanogea bezav osha Zab nogea bav. You touch a Zab, the Zab touches you. Or Hamesitet a Zab osha Zab misito. You move the Zab, the Zab moves you. Remember, because Mesit is for specifically for a Zab. So the Mishnah says, Mitame ochalim umashkim shetef bemaga. Okay, so that person who, who touched the Zav is mitame food and drink. He makes food and drink. Klishetef. Klishetef is the term for kalim that could be that, that you take the mikvah. It does not include klecheres. Klecheres, you can't take to the mikvah. Okay, but the term klishetef, okay, re, re, refers to any kli that's washable, as it were. That's what the Gaati says. Kleshetev is a, that you can, so therefore they become tame, bimaga if you touch them, avalo bimasa, but not if you carry them. Now the Bartanura says all these things are true, says the Bartanura, davka bishat maga obazav. That's when you're touching the zav. So you're touching the zav and you touch a kleshetev, that kleshetev is tame. Okay, because it's like while you're touching that zav, you're like an avatuma. Of a perash, but once you perash, separate yourself, when you stop touching the zav, lo. Right? Because it says, Isha she yugav mishkavo. It's not only the zav, even if you touch the thing, remember that he sat on. Yechabez begadav rachatz v'amemitame. He should wash his clothes and, and, and wash in the water, go to the mikvah, and he's tame. Bishat megao mitame begadim. I can hear the uh, airplanes in the background. When, bishat megao, when he's touching it, he's mitame begadim. Perash. But if he separates himself, he's no longer touching it. So he's, he's like a temporary kind of av hatuma while he's touching the, the zab. And if he lets go, now he's no longer an av hatuma to be mitame begadim. So therefore, it's bima, but at, and he's only he's mitame other things. Klal amar Yeshua. Yeshua did a rule. Kol amitame begadim mishat magao. Remember, it's mishat mago. So if he's mitame begadim when he's when he is uh, touching the zab or the mishkav hazab, the thing the zab sat on or what slept on. Then mitame ochlim umashkim liot chila. He's also mitame food and drink. Liot chila means chila means rishon first. So that's called a rishon the tumah. That's what they called it a rishon the tumah. So therefore, bishat migao. If I can be mitame bigadim clothing, my clothing are tame. So I can also make food tame. V'hayadaim liot shniot. I can also make yadaim or shniot the tumah. If I touch somebody's hands, if I touch a person, I'm not mitame people. I'm only mitame you know items kelim. But that's what we said. No, that's not metame people or klicheres. Those are because they're not clay shetef, as we've said. It's a little bit confusing, but just remember this: when the zav is touching, when the person is touching the zav, he's touching the zav, so he's like touching the zav. So then, anything else that he's touching while he's doing it, he makes them a rishon. Let's go. Then he can no longer be metame kelim. He can be metame foods. Lachar prishato mitamav when he lets go. Metame mashkin liot chila. He can make food. He can make. He makes drinks. A rishon. That's exactly what the Remember the, the chachamim we've learned before. We're very very careful about liquids and foods that they're all rishon because of tum because of the liquid of the zav. So that's always rishon the tumah. Midir abanan ve'ochalim ba'yadayim liot shniot. You can make food once he lets go. He's now rishon. So he makes food and yadayim hands to be sheni the tumah. Remember sheni makes truma tami but other foods. Now he's a Rishon. So a Rishon can't make Kalim Tame. So again, just to review, when the Zav is touching, when the guy is touching the Zav, the Zav is touching you, you're a temporary Av, and you make other things a Rishon. When you let go, boom, you're no longer an Av, now you're a Rishon, and you can only do things Rishon can do, which is food and drink, and all kinds of things like that. We'll stop here. I hope it's pretty clear. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.